as chair of the society, I have to take on a series of roles and responsibilities. People get on well with me. I'm often told I'm like Arlene Foster. I don't know who that is, but I think she's a badass bitch, so that's cool. I have inspired many past students. Many of them idolize me. There's this one girl here called Joan, and uh, I helped her really grow into her own person. She's now a system manager down at the Topaz down the road, so good on her. Well, she only got that job because the old assistant manager kept molesting all the girls at the deli, but sure luck. So I've been head of station for about a year now, and it started simply because I have a love for radio and all things related. It just means the world to me when I see new students coming in and having their own radio shows, you know? It's just something extremely good for people to partake in with their friends. If you had to narrow it down to one station, what would your favourite one be? Probably Babe Station. I was watching a film last night. Yeah? Yeah. Blue is the woman's colour. About two lesbians just going at it. Okay. Yeah. There's like a seven minute sex scene in it. It's fairly intense. Maybe you could come over. Watch some time. Fuck off. All right. Yeah, so I'm a secretary. I answer calls, send emails, like a fucking circus monkey at this hellhole of a job. Oh my god. Hi. I love your nails. Oh, thank you so much. I got them done this morning by my cousin. They're so lovely. <laughs> I fucking hate that slut. Mark, no, I'm live. Here he is, the big man. We're out Friday night. Had a bit of a binge, yeah? Nine pints between us? Well, you had seven. I had about two, but... You should yeah. have seen me trying to drive home. It was like Mario Kart when you hit one of those bananas. Mark, I'm live right now. Oh, yeah? What's that? Who you on to? A woman from Scaries. She's campaigning for more checkpoints on the roads because her husband was killed by a drunk driver earlier this year. Alright, see you Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, see you Monday. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm still here. Hey, uh, Sirsha, any chance you could send that email to Camille in regards to the sponsorship? Time is running out. Yeah, I'm working on it now. Okay, cool. Also, any chance you could pop down to the shop and get me a coffee? I'll, I'll give you the money. Uh, I just really don't have the time right now. <sighs> yeah, sure. Thanks. Sirsha? Yeah, she's nice. A bit unconventional. Like this one time she sent flowers to the office on Valentine's Day and she had a note saying they were from like a secret admirer. So I thought they were from my boyfriend. And then when I told him, he thought I was cheating on him. It's funny in hindsight, I, I guess. I can't wait to get out of this shithole. Rachel is a fool. I've taken so many days off and she hasn't even copped it. So far, I think I've had three granddads die, like this year. The only reason I stick around is because of Amy's birthday. She's a severe nut allergy and I'm ordering a big Nutella cake. It's her own fault, weak bitch. In general, being one of the heads of the studio can be quite stressful, but at the same time, I'd argue that the payoff is great, especially when you see everyone coming together and running their own shows, you know? Everyone works so hard and is so professional and they all... I am a strong leader, undeniably. Often people come to me asking for advice or wisdom. You know what I tell them? I advise you not to hide your feelings. Don't pretend to be okay when you're not okay. 
Don't pretend to be happy when you're sad because it'll only lead to your misery. Do you know who said that? XXX Tentacion. Come on, folks, nearly lunchtime. We're going to Newbar for pints. Ben, you in? Yeah, I'll come for one. Mark, I know you're in. I oh, am, yeah, fuck it. Come on, Aoife, we're going to uh, Newbar for pints. You coming? No, thanks, Rachel. Oh, I don't think she can hack it, folks. Reckon you couldn't keep up? No, I'm just not in the mood. Oh, she is raging. Come on, for one, you know you want to. Rachel, please. Just admit, you're not ready for such banter. Rachel. Rachel, it's my dad's funeral <laughs> later on. Oh. Yeah, forgot about that. Shot himself, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, you found him, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It's probably for the best you don't come so. You have no much crack today, anyway. <laughs> Uh, vibrating rabbit cock ring. <laughs> <laughs>